Unit 4. Listening. Exercise 3. 1. I don't know what to get Martin for his birthday. I had been thinking about a computer game, but I've changed my mind because the one he wants is too expensive. What about a CD? He's really into music, isn't he? Yes, but he downloads all the music he likes off the internet. Perhaps I could get him a DVD set of that TV show about vampires that he's addicted to. That's not a bad idea. Which birthday present is the man considering? 2. Mmm, something smells good in here. What have you been cooking? It's an apple pie. I'd been planning to make a cherry pie. But after I'd been to three market stalls this morning and none of them had any cherries, I decided to make an apple pie instead. There was no shortage of apples. I noticed that the supermarket had winter fruits like oranges on sale yesterday. Oh dear, it'll soon be Christmas. What fruits are not available to buy at the moment? 3. I see you've bought a new laptop. I find I use my tablet more than my laptop these days. Well, you know, I actually bought a tablet last week, but after I'd had it for three days, it stopped working. I had the sales receipt, and fortunately they offered me a full refund. But I decided to buy a laptop instead in the end. So you're going to use your phone and your laptop instead of a tablet then? That's right. Which devices does the woman own now? 4. Is that a new tennis racket, Steve? I thought you played golf, not tennis. Hi, Jill. I used to play golf, but they kept putting up the monthly fees at the golf club, and I was ending up in debt every month. Didn't you used to be in an ice hockey team as well? Oh, that was ages ago. I sold all my hockey gear last year. It's time to try a new sport. What sporting item has the man just bought? Five. Emily looked fantastic at the party last night, didn't she? Yes, I'm so pleased because she'd been worrying about it for weeks. She'd eventually managed to buy herself a dress, but she didn't have any suitable footwear, so I let her borrow a pair of my shoes, which fitted her luckily. She had some great accessories too. Her necklace really stood out. Believe it or not, she bought that at a car boot sale. Which item had the woman lent to Emily? 6. Are those new curtains, Jeff? I love the flowery pattern. Yes. Gina and I had been looking out for some like this for a while. But we'd only seen very plain ones or nasty stripy ones, which seem to be in fashion these days. Gina really wanted a more feminine design like these, though. I bet they weren't cheap, were they? Uh, no, we had to put them on credit. Which picture shows the couple's new curtains? 7. Did you manage to find that blue dress you saw in the magazine advert the other day? Well, yes and no. I eventually found the same dress in a small shop, but it was in a different colour. By then, I'd been looking round the shops for four hours, and I'd had enough, so I came home. Did you try it on, though? So you know whether it fits? Yes, and it fitted perfectly, thank goodness. But I really want it in blue. I'll have to see if I can find it online. Where had the woman seen the dress she wanted? 8. Hey, John, I love your trainers. Are they new? Thanks, Lynn. Yes, but I got them in the sales. They were on offer at 50% of the original price, so I only paid £60 instead of £120. Wow, that's a great bargain. Well done. And they really suit you. 
Thanks. What was the original price of the shoes?